later. But for now, Steve, thanks for hopping back on. Your your studio looking great as always. Thank you much. I, uh, and uh, the rest of you, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Oh no, I was just saying. Uh, I redid the whole thing, and now I got like a big old big screen in front of me, so my eyes are going to be all over the place, and people are going to complain in the comments. It's going to be fun. <sighs> They wouldn't have. have. <laughs> now they will. Oh, no, they would have. <laughs> Every time yeah, I look at you, a lot about it, but it, it won't be camera. about what you do with your eyes. Steve, yeah. name a dozen other times they've complained <laughs> about you on the show. Uh, Just a dozen. Which Just a dozen. Can I do a dozen? Yeah, exactly. Episodes? Can you put your yeah, mic a little closer, Steve? Um, what? I said, can you move your mic a little bit closer, Steve, mm. please? Maybe too close. Okay. Yeah. Perfecto. Okay. <laughs> What'd you say, Fayetteville? I mean, uh, yeah, tell me if... No, I said perfecto. perfecto. Like, oh, perfect. I'm like... like Fayetteville! Some... I don't know <laughs> if it's the word perfect, but with an O? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just it, it sounded like something that would be in a different language, right? Like a nickname for perfect, or...? I don't even know. It sounds <laughs> like what an Italian pe- a person would say for perfect. I don't know what the word is. But I can picture Chef Boyardee <laughs> saying it, so I'm going to call me out on that. Steve, you're in <laughs> California. How's your quarantine going? Is Are you, are you adapting? Or are you, are you, I, I think in my world, even though the pandemic's not done with us, we're kind of done with the pandemic oftentimes. It's not the smartest position, but here we are. How are you? What do you got going on? I've actually noticed that about uh, science. If you just get bored of it, it changes. It's, uh, it's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. Favorite part like about it. Just, yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh, wonderful. No, uh, you know, L.A. is uh, L.A. leads the country in a lot of things. I think currently uh, California just uh, just broke New York's uh, record of cases. Job, so number you know, one. Be proud. Be proud of us. Yeah. Uh, Orange County really, really doing a great job. I took offense uh, early they, on they really when everyone was bragging about how they were better than New York. And it's like, you fucks, you know, New York is like the entry point to most of this world country anyway you know mm-hmm. if you're flying to boise from paris you probably stop it in new york that's why it was first stop bragging florida stop bragging california your day will come and now we here we are but also new york is people live on top of each other and take public transit like yes. everybody is touching the same surfaces and so really early on when everybody was you know pre-symptomatic and people didn't understand how it was transferred. You know, people just, you know, doing what they do. They lick subway poles. It's just how we do in New York. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so uh, that, that transfers it a whole lot. Salty. You New Yorkers also <laughs> love going to Florida in summer. Yeah. <laughs> turns out. In the middle of the pandemic. That way. Yeah. Florida didn't mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's uh, dude, I, uh, Woody, I was on the same page as you with like the, I think you said, you know, COVID's still going, but where you are is kind of forgotten about it. St. Louis was much the same where I was like, you know, they'll still be like, please put a mask on if you go inside. It's like, I'm not wearing a mask when I'm walking around outside. That seems silly. But if I go into a business, I'll throw a mask on, whatever. But I in Denver, where I am right now, holy shit, they're taking this serious. Mm-hmm. Like way, way more so than than St. Louis, at least. I don't I didn't look at the numbers. I don't know how much better or worse Denver's doing than St. Louis. I know we're not doing great, but yeah, they're taking it real seriously. I went to the I dentist say- today. And uh, dude, uh, sorry. Do you want to go, Steve? I, I went to the dentist today. Oh, I was going com- to compliment where Kyle. Kyle's from Georgia, and and Georgia is doing a, a hell of a job. I think their new mandate is if you're going to go bowling, try not to lick the ball. And I think <laughs> that that really keeps you safe. Don't that has nothing to do with the virus, though. They've been trying to <laughs> clamp down on the whole <laughs> ball licking. You know what? You may understand here, Steve, is this is the end of a successful 20 year campaign. <laughs> Like, cleaner balls Jones, in Georgia. Atlanta Braves. <laughs> Please don't lick your bowling balls like this. My, now here, you know we love peaches and licking bowling balls. <laughs> but one of those is dangerous. <laughs> one of them has no vitamins whatsoever. So, if this no, thing is spread by, what is it, uh, little vapors coming out, or particulates or vapors coming out of your mouth or what have you, um, You'd think the dentist is like one of the worst spots for it. They have a new breath sucking machine at my dentist that they position next to your mouth the entire time that just vacuums out, I guess, everything. That's just sir, while sir, she come works sample on my elixir and my breath sucking machine. One hundred percent of your breath sucked into this device, cleans it up, spits it right back out, free of charge. If you need like, to return me, call this number. Call this 
Call my burner that. cell phone if this doesn't work. <laughs> when like a famous person goes to the dentist, they just bottle it and sell it on eBay. <laughs> yeah, you got Tom Cruise's breath. They got it a week Which, ago. you know what? Say what you will about the guy. I bet he has tremendous breath. His teeth are on point, and they always are. Clearly on the front lines fighting against gingivitis and bad breath. Good for him. That's actually what I've always wanted to say about him. So, Yeah. The whole Scientology thing played out. It's time we throw him some compliments, man. How many decades have we been ripping on Tom Cruise for being short and kind of weird? Let's throw some some nice vibes his way, you know? What has he ever done to anyone that we're aware of yeah, legally? Yeah, yeah. 